What is happening YouTube? How are you guys doing today? Welcome to another vlog of Doing Rips. We are back with another vlog as I said it's gonna be on that 30 and I'm pretty sure you guys already you guys already know by the title that this is uh, the day that I'm doing my oil change. I've been lagging to do my oil change from a cool minute because like I was supposed to do my oil change like last six months ago but yeah I haven't done it but like BMW suggests to do it at 10k I usually do it at 5,000 so I'm still chilling. Yeah, so, right, already got the car jacked up and just a little sport so it won't drop on my face and, you know, kill me or something. Yeah, so car is on jacks. And so the equipment that you guys basically need is, I think you're gonna need this 11, uh, the hack socket. I just bought the whole kit. You could just go to your AutoZone and just buy this thing. It's not, it's not that expensive, like $10. And uh, you're gonna use this wrench to open up the filter. And I bought this uh, man filter from uh, 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 I think Amazon. It was like seven dollars. It's not that expensive. So and I bought this two bottles of five uh, W30. So I bought these bottles, and uh, I think if your car is a four cylinder, you're gonna need uh, four, uh, five quart quarts, and if your car is six cylinder, you're gonna need six quarts. If you go to BMW, it's really expensive. So I rather just went to the uh, Amazon and bought it from Amazon. It was like actually pretty cheap. So yeah, you could get a pretty good deal on both of them if you went together. So yeah, basically what you need is this to open the filter, the 11 socket I think, I'm not sure. I'll tell you guys right now. And then the filter and obviously the oil. So yeah, I'm gonna be using this uh, whipped butter, whatever the box is to drain my oil in. I'm gonna drain it in and then put it in back in the bottles and give it back to the AutoZone. You're not supposed to throw it, so just letting you guys know. All right, so let's get down with business. So first thing you just wanna do is uh, go open up your hood, basically. Open up the hood and uh, unloose your uh, filter and open up the oil cap. And then you go under it and just open up the socket and then just let the oil drain and then just put your new oil, new oil in it. And that's pretty much it, but like I'm just walking you through it. As you guys already know that, that my car is a four cylinder or I, I4 or whatever. So this is an oil cap where you put your new oil in or the one that you're gonna, you know, drain and stuff. And uh, this is your filter right here. All right, I'm gonna go and get the, the filter opener or whatever socket, whatever you're gonna call this. And then you just put it on there and see how it goes. And then, you know, I'll put it on like this and then you like, you know, pull it towards you so it'll get tight and then just open it. I'm gonna use both of my hands because it's better to do with both hands and it's hard to do with one hand. So yeah, let's get that. So after your car is on the jack and you're safe to go under the car and just get your buckets and get your socket and then you should just get down with the business. So once you're under the car, you should see this cap right here you're supposed to open. That is like, you, you, you use this flat head. Let me show you guys real quick. So you can literally use this flat head and then like put it on top and it'll open. But, uh, my car has been to dealers too many times and the dealers actually messed it up. So I can't really open it, I'm gonna have to force it open and uh, then I'm gonna just open the drain. That's about it, that's what you do here. Guys, I ran into a little problem. So the the kit that I bought, uh, it's actually, this one is smaller and this one is bigger. Like the hacks that I have under it, the bolt, so it wouldn't fit. This one is too like small. It wouldn't fit. This one is too too big. It wouldn't go. In, it wouldn't go in there. So I'm gonna have to go run to the auto zone again and see if I could find it. If not, then fuck it. I guess it is what it is. I'm gonna see what I can do. Hey guys. So I'm actually back from the auto zone. So yeah. So auto zone <laughs> sells you this kit. Don't buy this. It's useless. It's totally trash. So this kit doesn't have number nine. So I had to go buy number nine. This is the one that's gonna go under your car. So yeah, I'm gonna use this now and then drain the oil and do everything. Yeah, I just, uh, so just letting you guys know so you don't have to waste the 
30, 40 minutes that I had to waste and you know, do all this hassle. So yeah, let's go do the oil change. Huh? Yes. So actually it took me a while. First, most, uh, this is the tool that I have and none of the tools or the sockets that were going on my car. And this is the tool that I bought from the AutoZone. As I already told you guys, that didn't work. So the 9 mm didn't work. So I went to AutoZone to see if there was like 950 or something. That didn't really work. So at the end of the day, I had to use the number 10 because I had to just like punch it in and like it worked. So, and even though I asked my friend to borrow, uh, let me borrow his tool, maybe he had it, he has some better, you know what I mean? So none of his sockets work. So yeah, but finally I got that the oil draining right there my one bucket well, was already filled so what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna open up the filter I'm sorry it's a little dark uh, it's hard to see but yeah I'm gonna have to deal with it so yeah see the filter is easy to open with the hand now not really easy but you know what I mean so you just use the socket put it in like that and open it right up And the filter is opened. All right, so once your filter is a little loose, uh, make sure you like use a rag or something so you wouldn't spill the oil all over it. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get back to you guys. Okay, so see, this is how my filter looks right now. I haven't taken it out yet, but yeah, so this is how it's supposed to be. But it's not it's not gonna stay yellow obviously because like you know the oils are gonna be all over it But it's not supposed to be black. So yeah, and uh, After that one is out. So basically what you do is just take out your filter and your filter that I bought from Amazon came with the The new drain plug I could always use that because I messed up the last one already So it doesn't really matter. So I bought the new the new drain plug came with it and then there's the that's the rubber that's gonna go on the filter and uh, when you put this rubber make sure you uh, oil it up a little bit because like then uh, it won't leak and then you just put, put the filter back on and I'm gonna show you guys how hard it go but yeah <laughs> Alright, I finally got the rubber in, it was actually kind of hard, but yeah, after rubber is in, make sure you loop it up all the way, with the whole the way obviously, and then just put the filter in. I think the filter only goes one way, so yeah, yep, that the filter is in, all the way, and then you basically go and tighten them up, I'm gonna clean my hand to hold the camera real quick. After your filter is all together, then make sure you grab it and then just put it on top of it and then tighten them up make sure you clean it up and just tighten them up so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna clean it up and tighten them up and then what I'm gonna do is just grab my new drain plug or you could always use your old one it doesn't really matter you could use the old one or new one so I'm gonna do that and just tighten up the drain plug from the bottom and then tighten up the the filter then I'm gonna show you uh, how many uh, qual as I told you guys, it's gonna take five quarts, but if it's a week six, it's gonna take six quarts. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just use this uh, bottle to just put whatever I can, and then I'm sort of the car and see how it goes. So this is how my oil looks. It's not supposed to be like that. It's actually supposed to be like a reddish, but yeah, it's all the way black. So yes, 
Mimo tells you you're supposed to do it, you're supposed to do it like at 10,000. I did it at 5,000 because like I pushed the car a little too hard. So I don't want to risk it all the way, you know what I mean? Because I want my engine to be lasting longer. So if you don't really care about your engine, then you could you should just go to BMW and just get it for like 10,000. But yeah, if you want to take care of it, then make sure you do it at 5,000. So yeah, after you're done with it, and another thing that I found out is like uh, the socket that it takes is the the 10, the Alex, uh, uh, Alex, the hack key that it takes is the the 10 mm this is the one that's supposed to go on there so yeah uh, the 10 is supposed to go on there I was actually not really paying attention but yeah it was actually 10 all right guys so I don't really have a thing to pour the oil in so I'm just using a bottle make sure you clean it or you don't want the water in your engine so yeah I cleaned it already and I'm gonna use this because it's the one time thing that I'm gonna use it so I don't really care If you buy this big bottle, so if you're gonna buy the qu uh, quartz, it, it's gonna be a little expensive. So I just bought this big bottle. So if you buy this big bottle, you have this, you know, line right here where you can tell that how much you're gonna put in. Uh, I'm really sorry, it's a little, little dark. You can't really tell, but yeah. Uh, I had like three in the other one, and had like two in this one. So I already got the five in. So I might have like got, got a little bit more in it, but that's fine. I don't really care. I'm gonna put the cap back on, and then I'm gonna start up the car, and uh, then check the oil see how it goes and yep that's how you do the oil change you guys Got the car down. I had to actually use my rotors to lift up the car a little bit because like I have the lip in the front and it wouldn't literally let me jack the car up in or all the way because like you know my jack's a little higher even though it's a low profile it's still a little higher so yeah don't get a lip <laughs> moral of the story that's it for today's video next video is probably gonna be on the f30 as well and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video i'm sorry it's like really cold in bigsville today i don't know why and it took me a really long time to just do the oil change it wasn't supposed to be because like last time i did the oil change i really did it myself i got it done from somebody else but i recorded the video out of it i'll still put the link in the description on the side too and i'll get the link for the the filter and i'll get the link for the oil too if you guys want to use the same oil and yep in next video i'll just tell you guys in next video i'm gonna be tuning my j uh my f30 with the jv4 so stay tuned and thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe peace out